Okay, now we'll see which of this right here is a trinomial with degree 5. Remember, trinomial means that we must have three terms. And degree is the highest combined exponent in a term of a polynomial, all right? So let's examine the first one here. We have 3x to the fifth power plus 14x to the third power. The degree right here is 5, that's okay. But how many terms do we have? Just two terms. This is the first term, that's the second term. We must have three terms for a trinomial, okay? So this right here is not an answer to this, right? Next one right here, we have 5x to the second power plus x minus 4. It is with three terms. So it is a trinomial, but the degree here is just a 2, right? Because the highest power that we have is 2. So once again, this is not the answer either. Next, we have 1, 2, 3. Three terms. So it is a trinomial, even though it has x and y, but it's just a trinomial as well. Do we have degree 5 from here? This is how we do it, remember. Here we have x squared, and then we multiply by y to the third power, right? This is a term, and you have to combine the exponents together. 2 and 3 together, that's 5, all right? And then you see, this right here, it's also a term, and when you combine the exponents, this is like 1 and 2. So the highest power right here is 5, right? Highest combined exponent is 5, even though this right here is just 3. Therefore, this is with degree 5, and it has 1, 2, 3, 3 terms, so it's a trinomial with degree 5, all right? So C is the answer. Lastly, this right here, 17 x to the fifth power y, we only have one term. And you see, even though we have 5, but the degree here is actually what? The degree for this is actually 6, because this is y to the first power, 5 combined with 1, together 6 for the degree. But anyway, this is only one term, so of course it cannot be the answer. C is the answer, and that's it.